What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are unboxing my January Ipsy Glam Bag. Now, I'm not getting ready this time using all these products. We're just going to unbox them. I'm going to show you guys what I got. I got the Ipsy app up on my phone so I can explain each of the products to you. The reason why I'm not really getting ready with them is because there's a couple products that aren't really used for getting ready. It's more like skincare and hair care. Yeah, I just didn't think that I really needed to do that. So with that said, let's just get started. First off, let's talk about this bag. I forget what the actual theme of this month's bag is. Something to do with sport. Wait, does I have it right here? <laughs> game face sport something so I understand what they're kind of doing with this bag now I don't think it's a very cutest bag I've received from Ipsy but I guess if this is something if you got products that you need to take with you to the gym this would be a good bag or maybe even like the pool because inside it has like that swim type of material and then on the outside it's like mesh so I think if it gets wet it won't really get anything wet inside it's just plain blue on the on the back uh, not my favorite bag of all of the ones that I've received but that's all right I believe that you're supposed to write on this card what you're going to conquer and I think in 2018 I am just gonna conquer more YouTube videos you know what I'm saying First one we have is the Bella Pierre Cosmetics Stay Put Brow Gel. Oh, oh, oh. I thought that, oh, oh. <laughs> so it's like a pomade. I thought it was going to have like a little thing. I don't know. I thought, I thought it was going to be a brush, but it's just this little container with like the pomade in it. And this is in the shade Cardamom. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Not Cardio, but Cardamom. That is funny. I got the app open for this product. This is why we will love it, okay? This soft hold gel keeps your brows on point all day. We applied some in the AM and they stayed feathery and fluffy until we hit the hay. The tinted formula fills in sparseness and gives you instant look me in the eyes power brows. Okay, how to use it. Using a brow brush or spoolie, comb your brows upwards, okay? Add short little strokes of your favorite brow product. So use whatever you want. Wherever you see gaps, follow direction of your hair growth. Okay. Apply this soft hold gel by brushing your brows upwards to blend everything together and keep them in place all day. So this is just like an extra product to your brow routine to keep them in place. Hmm. I might have to try it out. I don't know. I'm not. Oh, let's get this on correctly. I probably will try it out just to see like what it does. But I mean, just a pomade, then I have to go get a brush. I don't really know if I will be using this quite often. It looks kind of light for me as well, especially now that I have black hair, so I probably could have used the other shade that was a little bit of a darker shade, but that's all right. That's all right. Moving on, we have this liquid lipstick from So Susan, the liquid matte long wear liquid lipstick. It is in the shade, what shade is this? Oh, it's in pumpkin. Why we will love it? It's made with a cocktail of hydrating ingredients including olive oil, cocoa butter, and chamomile extract to keep your lips hydrated and happy. It doesn't dry out your lips like some matte formulas, aka no flakiness. Yay, that's exactly what it says. So let's just open it up. We'll just do a quick swatch. Hmm. So it, it kind of like tilts upwards if you can't tell. Honestly, it seems a little patchy. Seems like you will definitely have to go in with more than one dip in the product to get a full color pigmentation on your lips. But overall, the color, I probably could have worn it with this one, huh, with this eye look. It looks a little sheer, so I don't know about all that pigment action. I personally love matte liquid lipsticks. I will definitely try this lipstick very soon. Maybe wear it to work since it's not too crazy of a color. Next we have the Mud Masky Sleep Repair Renewal Nourishing Mask. I don't think I've ever even heard of this brand. It works to smooth, hydrate, and repair your skin overnight, and it delivers nourishing vitamins and nutrients to keep your skin healthy. Okay, well, I'm sure we all love that, right? Toss and turn while you sleep? Question mark? 
This mask absorbs in under one minute so you won't wake up with it in your hair, on your pillow, or on your cat. <laughs> Funny. Sleep easy when you use it. It's infused with rose water which is proven to help you sleep better. Okay. And contains zero parabens, sulfates, or harsh chemicals. So it says start with a clean skin, apply a thin layer all over your face, catch up on your beauty sleep while the mask works its magic. Don't leave it on for more than 10 hours. Wow, okay. Rinse with water in the AM. Use it two to three times a week if you have oily skin and one to two times a week if you have dry skin. Well, what about combination skin, right? <laughs> so just like one time? I don't know. Yeah, you apply this before bed. You literally go to sleep and then you wake up and wash it off. I think I'm going to have to try this out and maybe review it. What do you guys think? Next in the bag is the Balm Cosmetics Mary Luminizer. Little highlight. I think their highlighters are just a little too sheer for me. Oh. Well, I did a pretty good swatch right there, but let's see. You can still see my uh, lipstick swatch. So it looks a little frosty. I don't know if I would really use this for a highlighter. I'll have to actually try it on my face. does look a little frosty, but let's see why we will love it. The warm honey shade has just the right amount of shimmer to get us glowing. It's gorgeous on your cheekbones, brow bones, and all the places you'd apply highlighter, but we love it on our lids too. Okay. I think it'll just be too sheer for me. Maybe inner corner highlight on my eyes, maybe. Or try it out on the lid. I do like the Balm Cosmetics though. I have a couple of their eyeshadows that I've received in previous Ipsy bags and I do like them a lot. So I'm, you know, I'm not mad at it. I'm happy to bring it into the collection of all my little samples. Last but not least, we have a hair mask. And you guys, I don't, how do you pronounce this freaking name? Brio Geo? Brio Geo? <laughs> I don't freaking know how to say this brand name, but I will tell you that I've tried some of their hair masks and I do love them a lot. I've only tried samples that I've gotten in either Ipsy Offers or Ipsy Glam Bags and previous bags, but I do like the smell of them. I like what they do to my hair and how they make my hair feel. I should probably use one very soon since you can tell I haven't brushed my hair today, but that's alright. That's another video. <laughs> It's a scalp revival charcoal plus coconut oil micro exfol exfoliating shampoo. Fact, even your scalp needs exfoliation. That's why we're so blessed this shampoo came along. It's made with something charcoal which clears all the blockages out of your scalp and hair follicles, leaving your hair ready to grow in happy and healthy. Well, I do need my hair to freaking grow in all this area. This sounds interesting to me. Winter scalp flakiness is too real. This shampoo also has a minty, fresh, cooling blend of peppermint, spearmint, and tea tree oils to stop itchiness and irritation. Alright, maybe I will like this. How to use it. Apply to your scalp and vigorously massage, but don't suds up all the way to your ends. Remember, shampoo is actually made to clean your scalp, not your hair. Oh, really? Rinse with cool water, then rinsing will cleanse the rest of your strands. Alright. Apply your favorite conditioner, focusing on the ends this time, not your scalp, and leave it on for a few minutes to soak into your strands. Rinse well with cool water to seal your hair's cuticle and make it super shiny. FYI, the cooler the water, the better, especially if your hair is color treated. Dang, that's crazy because when I take a shower, I like my shit hot. Like hot. Okay, when me and my boyfriend take showers together, it's like two different worlds. He likes it cool, and I like steaming hot. We need like two different shower heads, and one on each side, so we can enjoy a shower together, and we both get what we want out of it. <laughs> right? That's it for this Ipsy Glam Bag. Now that I've gone through all the products and actually read what each one of them does, I think I need to really test these out and I think I need to review them and do a video on them and get you guys some more info about them. Let me know down in the comments if you're down for that. And I just learned a whole bunch of stuff about your scalp and oh wow mind blown. I think when I go to review this on the app it's probably gonna get three stars or maybe I need to actually test out these two products, test out that lipstick 
and then review it and maybe it'll get maybe four stars. I don't think it's going to get five stars. So sorry about that. This wraps up this January Ipsy Glam Bag Unboxing. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this Ipsy Glam Bag Unboxing, please give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye! Brio Geo, Brio, Brio Geo, Brio Geo, Brio Geo, <laughs> Brio, Brio Geo.